Hey, hello everyone. How are you guys doing? It's me, Young Leo here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, hello all my fans, all my subscribers from YouTube or Facebook, all my uh, fans from YouTube and Facebook, uh, my followers, uh, whoever is out there that watching my videos, all my videos. Uh, today is the end of April. It's April the 30th. Um, might be a holiday somewhere in a, a different country, but uh, it's not really a holiday here in the U.S. Um, it's on a weekday. So it's a weekday, and uh, I'm still working on my project and working on things around my house, my home, so as well as my cars things like that. Uh, the number one thing I want to make a video is mentioning about my canopy tent here. It's like my garage used to be, but not anymore. The last time I uploaded some videos about my uh, canopy tent garage here for my cars and my stuff that I put in here is probably like <clears throat> months, two months ago or something like that. Because I've been so busy lately and uh, I, I did make some videos, but it's related for uh, something else. Um, kind of related with what I'm doing too, but uh, I have not made a video about this uh, for a while, in a while. And uh, I had to make videos uh, updating what I'm doing so far. As far as like, you know, my family think about moving this year, some somewhere around summer, but they were planning from last year. And uh, I don't know, it's almost summer and um, they're working on house so they can sell the house or whatever, but uh, I still have to do whatever I have to do on my side here. <clears throat> There's not much for me to help because I really don't want to do anything in the house or do anything for the house because, you know, just sell it for the price as it and just move on, move, go, move to another state or wherever y'all want to go. It don't matter to me. Um, I still don't know if I should stay or follow them. So because I have so many things going on, I might just find a place somewhere in this state and just stay here for a while uh, before I really wanted to move to, uh, to Texas, like I mentioned. Moving to another state, okay? So not sure what city in Texas or whatever, but uh, that's what we plan to do. Um, but it's not really my plan. So anyway, <clears throat> let's just go as how it is. Whatever, whenever, whenever it comes, it will come. So because I got so many things going on, I'm not even planning to go anywhere yet uh, until I'm done with all my projects and stuff like that. Got to first of all, got to get rid of all these things right here. I really want to get rid of all this, you know. So. If any of you guys around uh, where I live, feel free to text me or message me or whatever. If y'all want to uh, get a car or, you know, um, who knows, I might give away uh, one of these cars, you know. It's, it's like a junk car, okay? It's not like a new, brand new car or new bike or whatever, okay? So don't, I mean, if you guys want some, uh, you know, junk cars or used car that's been sitting that you want to do a project on, like project car, then uh, shoot me a message. And if you nearby, we might can do something about it. I might can give you a, a really cheap price on one of these cars or uh, give it away if we're really moving. But so far about the moving, I'm not really sure yet. So uh, I just got to finish my part first. So <clears throat> what's going on here is your guy, <laughs> you got to look at this. You guys want to like, what's, what's going on? Are you getting <laughs> another tent or a cover on the top of this canopy or what? No, I'm I'm planning to, but I'm not going to because if I'm going to, like in a few months, they're going to move, you know, my family going to move. So I'm going to have to end up doing everything again, you know, so I'm like, forget it. We'll see what happened after all my projects done, after all my cleanups and move all this thing first. And then if I have some time, I might order a, a top tent right here to cover because this just going to cover the rain, the water and the sun, really. It's not really much. And I have nothing really to worry about because I have a used car here. And I mean, I'm moving all my tools in my storage house 
anyway and lock it up anyway. So I'm not putting anything out here regardless. I'm not going to put anything out here. So I don't care if it's going to get wet or whatever, you know. And I'm going to move. I'm going to end up moving all this, throwing all this away anyway. Um, and all this is not going to be here except for maybe a car. This this uh, 99 Eclipse convertible here. It might be here in a little bit. But uh, I'm planning to fix it before winter so I can sell it or drive it. So this car eventually coming up soon. I'm going to work on it. Um, that's why I have it covers and all that because I have nothing up here. So I have to cover it up so the rain and, you know, dirt won't fall in. And, uh, you know, as you know, I have another car back here too. And I'm planning to cover it up too and working on it. Uh, but everything just one by one. My my 99 Eclipse is still down there. I have not towed it, take it, fix it, or towed it to uh, my mechanic to fix it yet. I just have it parked down there and just uh, open the door for <clears throat> all the heat to come out. Um, so it won't crack the inside. Now, if you notice, you know, summer coming up, it's gonna get hot. If you if you have your car parked, go ahead and open the doors. So you know. Uh, wind can fly through but remember when the rains come you have to watch out the day the raining day You have to close your door or your sunroof or else the car will get wet So what I do is I usually open the car's door and to let the air freely so the the inside uh, Won't cracks like the interior it won't cracks. That's what I always do. Okay, if you got don't notice that That's a good thing to do if you Park your car for a while in the rainy, I mean, in a sunny day or a hot day, you, you need wanna, you might want to open the door out so free air will come in and out so the interior won't cracks and all that. And if you do that, you need to clean it uh, regularly. If you don't, you still need to clean it because they're going to be spotted web in there anyway. Okay? So, but you just got to remember to close the door and all that up before the rain. That's all. And I really hate when there's a raining, windy day, you know, pollens. Uh, I really don't want to open the door, car door, like, you know, when those days. But sunny day, I open it out, you know. And uh, you just got to remember how to, when you close it, when you open it. That's all, okay. So my video is not really mentioning about all those things. What I want you guys to see, you know, really there's nothing you need to see because it's so dirty. And, you know, I'm in the process of cleaning it up and throwing things away and cover things up so really there's nothing to show because everything is dirty and ugly anyway in here my canopy but uh i gotta show you what i'm planning to do before you know who knows i might do something like moving on to another job do another project or going somewhere else and i might not do a video for a while or whatever just 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 updating my videos uh what i'm doing here so far uh before i fix my car and all that stuff and i Lately, I've been working on my storage house up there, and I'll let you guys see what's going on, too. Uh, not to show off anything, because really, I have I have no, I have have no, nothing to show off, you know. I mean, I'm just trying to show you guys what I'm cleaning up and how I put my pig boards and, you know, whatever, something new. Um, but there's nothing need to show off, because nobody really want all this stuff okay i mean if you if some of you guys know where i live i mean you probably don't want to get don't want any of my stuff because they they use their o and the tool you know i don't have like expensive tools so i'm not worried the the only thing expensive i have here is probably you guys already know that's been sitting outside i'm covering up it's my jacks and all that okay and that's about it you know so, I mean, <laughs> I don't think no one will be able to come up here and, and steal my jack, you know, because I'm all the way up on the mountain, and this thing is like uh, 200 pounds weight. I mean, you know, and you got to you gotta drive a truck up here to get it, really, you know. So I'm not worrying about people trying to go up in my house and steal my thing, you know, because I'm showing the thing that I'm showing is not, is not even worth it for people to come and just steal my stuff. So I'm not even really mentioning about those things, okay? All right, so back to what I'm doing. You guys see here something different here? You see that? I move everything. I move all my um, <clears throat> all my shelf. You remember I have the remember I have like two big three level uh, chrome shelf. Yeah, I move all that up in my storage house already. Now I'll let you guys see. And I move some of the thing around, like some of the shelf and the tables back here. I I want all my stuff to be back there instead of out front here. Because remember, usually all these things was like over here in front of the car. And that way it's really hard to work on the car. Okay. So I move everything from the front 
to the to the back and I'm trying to move more of these things out of here okay like this 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 that's right here. no no it's a it's a table it's like a well what is it called um you know uh um what's it called uh I forgot what it called anyway you know it's a it's a it's like a tool box, okay? It's a wood tool box uh, with shelves, and I have a cover, and I usually have my tools up in there, but now there's nothing in there, okay? And here I just got things laying around, but there's nothing in here. Well, they, they probably, I still probably have like lug nuts in there, but I'm gonna end up moving all this with the pallets, okay? I'm ending up like, I end up like cutting the pallets and everything, but then I, I, I thought about it. Why I have all these things out here? I don't need to have all these things out here, okay? I might need to cover, you know, on the side, but that's about it. Or cover my car, and that's about it. I really don't need anything out here, you know? If I need tools to work on my cars whenever I need to work on my car, I'll just go up in my, in my room or my house or my storage house to get my tools out and, and work on it and then bring it back in. That's it. So... I can store my tool in, in my room or my on my storage how it, it won't get dirty or wet, you know. And then when I'm I need to work on it, I just take it out, you know. That's that's it. I don't know why before I have all this thing laying out here, you know, it's just like a junk, you know, like and then and then after this happened, I figured out, you know, it's better to have a garage than this because this will eventually torn out. It's gonna torn out. So everything here is gonna get wet anyway and, and, and hot and heat up. You know, don't leave your tools or like all the chemicals. Don't leave it out here, okay? If you have a garage, that's good. You can leave it in the garage, but like what I'm having here, don't leave it out here. Bring it inside the house or in the storage house or somewhere that's temperature. Um, <clears throat> if you tools is all right, but it depends on what tools. Regular hand tools you can put it anywhere, okay? In the storage house or in the room. Or maybe you can put it outside here, but I don't recommend it because it it will it will eventually they all eventually will get rust and dirty and you know water will get in and it's not good to leave it out here. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I just have some uh, some tent to cover around here. So, you know, dust and wind won't flies around in my car, but that's about it. I'm not planning to get the tops cover. Uh, maybe in a few months when I'm done with all this, when I'm done cleaning out all this. And if I'm working on my car and if I have time, then I'll, I'll buy me like a third. It's like a $30. It'll cover this whole top here. It's only $30 for the top. Okay. Cause I already got all the metal bar and stuff. So I don't need... Because if I'm buying another set of uh, canopy like this, or different kinds, it's cost around hundred dollars anyway. So getting a, a top cover will cost like 30, 40 bucks at the most. And that's how people like uh, install can canopy tent like I do. Sometimes it's torn up, they have to buy another top sheet to cover the top, like 30, 40 bucks. And they do that every year or two if it get torn out. Uh, mine didn't get torn out until like two or three years after I bought it. So I, I got it good until like three years later. So three years later, it's got torn out. Okay. So I'm not planning to get it until I get, I'm having all this out of here or clean up or all my cars, you know, get fixed and tow out. Anyway, so the toolbox here will eventually be gone. All that will be gone. The pallet will be gone. So that's why you see all this clean right here. I'm gonna end up on this side with real clean and I might have like my my engine stuff like my jacks and stuff ending up over this side over here but I might not have it on this side because I might need this door to open whenever I you know uh, the tall will get tall or move out but if, if that ever happened I'll just end up bringing all this out but it's not much it's just some metal part for this you know so another thing i'll end up is remember i have this um pig boards i have two big boards uh screw it onto a, a big thick uh wood board right there um i always had it right here remember for my tools hanging my tools but not anymore guys i'm gonna end up moving the pig boards here i'm gonna end up getting all this stuff out okay just ending up have the canopy to cover this side and that's it and this jack stuff right here end up right here and that's it um but anyway 
I got one unscrew out and I'm taking two of these pig boards. I'm bringing it up in my storage house. And I have two pig boards like this size already installed up in my storage house. And I just figure and find out I have a spot to install these two pig boards up there. And I'm not taking this wood board, okay? This Because I got like three of this wood board, thick, big, long wood boards. And it's, I didn't use for anything. So that's why I used it for pig board uh, before that a uh, long time ago. But I got three more of this long wood boards laying up there. And it's, you know, I probably make a project doing something. But anyway, I, I got wood ball all over. See that? Wood balls right here. I got like three wood balls right here. And I'm going to end up bringing it up in my storage house because leaving it out here is not really good. This is a new wood ball too, guys. This is new. It's been sitting out here. That's not good. So I'm going to have to um, keep it somewhere in the, inside a house or in my storage house. So <clears throat> I'm in the middle of taking the wood ball out. You see, I got my... Uh, my my gun my uh my screw gun and I'm in the middle of take I took out this right side pig boards and I'm gonna end up taking another pig board right that pig board right there out and then later on I'm gonna move this wood and I'm moving this whole table all this right here with the pallets and it's gonna be clear all right and what I have so far here I cover my uh, my convertible because it's a convertible eclipse you know so I have to cover the tops and all that I put uh, uh, I put things to you know I got plastic sheet all around it and a turp to cover um, I didn't really cover my 92 Integra yet but uh, I did cover my convertible eclipse and it's really covered good all together uh, I did a good job but uh, I need to cover it more after this, I'm going to end up, you know, cover it more and uh, ending up, uh, start fixing it, okay? So this side over here looks clean, look, you know, I haven't really cleaned it. It's just that I got everything out and I'm moving some of the shelf. I'm keeping these two little shelf here. Remember this shelf right here was over here. I'm keeping it over there in this side at the end back here and the table here for all my things. Like things are still a bunch of stuff right here I need to clean this whole mess throw all this away or do something but anyway so I got another power over here this is for uh, goodwill that I'm gonna giving out like I got speakers and all that in here but I know I should have moved it quickly like bring it to goodwill as soon as possible because I got it covered but don't know when it will get wet I try to cover it up uh, hopefully nothing uh, hopefully everything's still working when I bring it to goodwill but there are speakers and system in there guys Speaker subwoofer is covered up in there. Okay, I'm gonna end up moving all this metal right here too. Like, um, sell it to a metal place. Uh, to a, you know, uh, selling. I'm gonna sell those metals to a, a metal yard. Um, so I'm gonna end up, yeah. And talk about. I really want to work on my bike too, but it just got no time. Hopefully, be, be, this summer coming up, I'll have it. I'll have it. Uh, I'll work on it. But uh, all these need to clean out anyway. You guys already know. Um, so, I'm going to bring you guys up here. Wow, it's been like almost 20 minutes for this video. So, I've been working on my storage house up here. Moving everything out. Because before, I didn't have these two metal shelf, uh, the chrome shelf. You know, that's why I didn't know, it, it, you know... If I know that earlier, if I know I'll have, I will install the three shelf up here, I'm I'm going to install my peak boards, you know, one by one, uh, accordingly uh, organize it right. But but it's not too late. I can still install uh, a peak board right there. I'm going to end up installing the, uh, the two peak boards that I have uh, out right there. One's going to be right there and another one going to be right there. And I'll have four peak board together, but it's going to be on the top. See the bottom. I'm gonna have end up having putting things on the bottoms, you know, like maybe two box or, you know, I got a lot of things that I is big and I have to put it on the bottom. But anything else smaller than that or boxes, I'm gonna end up putting up here, okay? Putting up on a shelf, and I think I should have enough shelf, okay? I got two big three level chrome shelf on this side. I just installed, moved the shelf off here again, 
and then I'm going to install another shelf right there which is going to be that one I'm moving that down here and I'm installing the long one up here I'm installing the long one and the long one is right here okay yeah I'm going to install that one right on top here and I still going to keep these two shelves right there for my uh, part stuff so I'll, I'll it's going to look nice after this and whatever I have space down here, I'm going to put stuff down here, maybe two box or like my heater right here, you know, like I got two boxes. It's going to end up being down here. And, uh, yeah. Uh, then I'm going to, uh, like this hook right here, I just torn it down from this area. I'm going to install it up here. And I got more things need to toss up there too. And clean out, throw out boxes, whatever I don't need, like especially over here. Yeah. And uh, some of the flea market parts that I sell at the flea market, I'm going to have to end up putting on these shelves right here. Because they right now they're laying outside. A lot of things laying outside. Yeah. So I'm in the process of cleaning everything, like, you know. And uh, this is how it looks like when I clean. And it'll look really neat and organized after I clean it up and... You know, you got. I'll make a video showing you guys after this. And uh, see these hooks right here. I'm gonna have, end up installing probably up here somewhere. And so I'll end up having like two shelves right there, another shelf right there. That'll be three. Long shelf here be four. And I have this one is five, and two two big uh, three level. Uh, chrome shelf right there is locked down and it's going to be right here on both sides will have both sh uh, shelf table so I have probably like nine shelf all together and then as you guys already see I just install uh, the uh, the pots racks right there underneath the pick boards and of course like I say I'll install two more pick boards up here and it, it eventually will fit exactly up there I'm not really sure it's going to fit, but I already measured it should fit. And <laughs> it's just going to look weird, but, uh, you know, it's good like that because Big Boy will be up here. I put all my parts, and then down here, I can put my things down here, you know, so, you know, I have more space to put on things. And then, of course, I got, sh sh I fixed all my shelf, and it looks good now. It's going to end up, I'm going to have space for putting on top of my shelf and all that and like right here I'm gonna work on my things I'm not gonna put any boxes right here this is like my t my working table right here okay like whenever the raining day or whatever or I don't feel like working outside I'll go in here and work um, like this shelf up here on top will be nothing but work like things that I work on you know like work on parts on my cars or my motorcycle or whatever and so it's over here the top part shelf, I'm going to work on top of here. It's like a table to me. And then uh, these two shelves down here, I can put my things like boxes or whatever. Um, you know, like my flea market parts to sell or my uh, parts that I keep for my cars or some of the tools. But usually two boxes and all that, tools, house tools and all that, it's going to end up on the ground down here somewhere. So, yeah. I got roof underneath the floor and I have like woods, you know, cover on top of it, just like this over this side over here. This side over here, I just, uh, I just kind of, you know, had to take the wood out to, uh, to do this part, but, uh, I'll have some wood underneath over here on this side and then put my things up on top of the woods, like right there. See those woods? Yeah. They're all right here. I got a bunch of wood boards, so. I can live with it. I can do things with it, or to work. I can, I can make things to put my project on, and just so many things. I've been doing this for like three days, two days maybe. Well, really, this today is like the only day that I do a lot, like moving all this out and you know moving the shelf in and all that. It was a lot of work for the last day or two, um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have end up with the ladder, so I can you know. Um, screw in the pig boards and all that because this is not tall enough <laughs> alright guys we'll see you guys on the next video when I'm finished
Okay? I'm going to make a video when I'm finished. I'm not going to make a video anymore until I'm, like, organized, clean up, and finished, done. Then I'll show you guys how the storage house looks uh, by then. Okay? All right, guys? Just simple, you know, simple things. Not much. I mean, I have no expensive tool at all. Okay, now all the lawnmower stuff right here, gas is out here. So, uh, yeah, it's going to end up organized. Um, hopefully, I'll have space for the mow lawn and all that. Uh, all right, I'll see you guys again on the next video uh, when I'm done, okay? So the next video, it's got to be finished. And then I'll, I'll record, make a video showing you guys how it looks uh, around the storage house. And probably I get cleaned up down there too by the canopy tent. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching my channel. Lee Young Leo, signing off for now. Bye guys.